Now, let's look at the installation of the Liberty self-adhered base sheet. Again, with most installations, you would install either the mechanically attached base sheet or the self-adhered base sheet, depending on what type of deck you're installing over. The Liberty self-adhering base ply sheet is also a 1 meter or 39 and 3 eighths inch wide membrane that has a plastic film top surface designed to receive the Liberty cap sheet. On the bottom, the surface is a split back release film designed to be removed to uncover a self-adhering surface. The Liberty self-adhering membranes have extremely aggressive self-adhering properties. When installed directly to wood, they will adhere very strongly. While the adhesion to wood is good without primer, the best long-term adhesion is achieved when the wood is primed with one coat of Matrix 307 Asphalt Concrete Primer or a comparable ASTM D41 type primer. Remember to allow the primer to dry completely prior to the installation of the Liberty self-adhering base sheet. This gives the self-adhering membrane an asphalt surface to bond to, so when the deck moves, the self-adhered Liberty can move with it. When applying the Liberty self-adhered membrane to the mechanically attached base or wood deck, priming is optional. Cut a two-thirds width of the Liberty base ply and align it with the edge of the roof, plus whatever is required to turn down on the fascia. This job has a two-inch overhang turned down on the fascia. Position the selvage line on the high side of the roof to provide an overlap guideline and to assure that water flows over the side laps. Next, fold the sheet away from the edge of the roof along its length, exposing the bottom of the sheet. Remove the narrow width of release film from the back of the sheet. Working from the center of the length of the Liberty base ply, allow the sheet to roll onto the deck being careful to avoid wrinkles and trapped air, and while maintaining proper alignment with the edge of the roof. The resulting smooth surface assures a sound, receptive substrate for the Liberty cap sheet. Firmly press the sheet to avoid wrinkles and trapped air as the ply adheres to the deck, and press down the fascia. Position the selvage line on the high side of the roof to provide an overlap guideline and to assure that water flows over the side laps. Now fold the top portion of the sheet back on itself, exposing the remaining release film. Remove the release film and then roll the sheet into place, working from the center of the sheet outward towards the ends of the sheet. Firmly hand press the sheet to avoid wrinkles and trapped air as this base ply is adhered to the primed deck. Where additional lengths of Liberty base ply are added to the same course, Overlap the end of the previous sheet a minimum of six inches to provide the best protection against leaks. On the upper overlapping sheet, cut the selvage edge at a 45 degree angle to provide a tapered transition at the T-joints formed by succeeding courses. This provides a smooth transition and reduces the chance for blisters and loose laps. End laps in adjacent courses should be offset a minimum of 36 inches. Install additional courses of Liberty Base Ply as follows. Align the base ply with the installation line on the sheet in the previous course. Fold the sheet in half away from the selvage edge of the lower sheet along its length, exposing approximately half of the bottom of the sheet. Remove the exposed release film. Working from the center of the length of base ply sheet, allow the sheet to roll onto the primed deck, being careful to avoid wrinkles and trapped air while maintaining proper alignment with the selvage edge of the previous course. Firmly hand press the sheet to avoid wrinkles and trapped air as the base ply adheres to the underlying base sheet or primed deck. Now fold the other half of the sheet back on itself, exposing the remaining release film. Remove the release film and roll the sheet in place, working from the center of the sheet outwards toward the ends of the sheet. Complete any side lap installations by hand pressing and rolling the lap. After applying the Liberty self-adhered base sheet, apply uniform pressure to the entire area by using a method suitable to the roof slope. A long-handled push broom or a weighted roller is ideal. This creates a solid bond between plies. Brooming also helps ensure a clean surface for adhesion of the Liberty cap sheet.